Hello, this is Father Jack Wall of Catholic Extension. During this extraordinary time of pandemic, I'm praying for each one of you. We're navigating situations and conditions that are new, uncertain, and frightening. Together we can support each other and endure this crisis. To stem the spread of COVID-19, Catholics are dispensed from the obligation of attending Sunday Mass. As an alternative, we warmly invite you to join our digital Catholic community. Masses will be broadcast at 9 a.m. Eastern Time each Sunday and will be available on our website for you to watch anytime. Our faith means so much to us during moments of hardship. It's our source of strength and inspiration and community. And through praying together with our brothers and sisters in faith, we are more intimately one with God. We urge you to remember everyone who is suffering during this pandemic, especially the poor and the vulnerable, who are facing unique challenges during this unsettled time and who will feel its ramifications for months to come. Catholic Extension will continue to reach out to the peripheries, assessing evolving needs and looking for new ways to walk in solidarity with those in America's poorest regions. Their needs are more urgent than ever. Please also pray for all the first responders, the doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers who are so diligently and bravely combating this virus. Together, let's pray for healing, for hope, and communion with one another during this unprecedented time. God bless you and all whom you love. Good morning, and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant this morning is Father Jim Corda, president of CTNY, the Catholic television network of Youngstown. I am Ron Puhala from Holy Family Parish. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers, Madeline Petaline. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, praising thee, their Son above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's wonderful to be with you today as we gather to celebrate God's presence among us. So let us now acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we, glorify you, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of, Son of the Father, Father you, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty and ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. 
Thus says the Lord, you shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You should not wrong any widow or orphan. If you ever wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward them by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset. For this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. I love you, Lord, my strength. I, I love you, Lord, Lord my, my strength. strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love, I love you, you, Lord, my strength. strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love, I love you, you, Lord, my, my strength. strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock, extolled be God, my Savior, you who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. I love, I love you, Lord, Lord my, my strength. strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that, you may, so that you became a model for all believers in Macedonia and also in Achaia. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to your Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, our Gospel today tells of a man who asked Jesus a question, not out of sincerity, but to test him, to trip him up. But despite this man's insincerity, we should be grateful to him for his question because it prompted Jesus to put together two verses from the Old Testament, one from Deuteronomy and the other from Leviticus, and establish them forever as the great law of love. 
Now let's examine this great law of love, but from the reverse. Let's look at the law from back to front. First, you shall love yourself. Now that may be a little strange for someone to say, but Jesus was actually saying that. If we complete his sentence, filling it what he implied, then it will read like this. You shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. Please remember, however, that this is not an invitation to pride and arrogance. You know, one of the worst things that could happen for us is to develop an exaggerated opinion of ourselves. The Bible is quite plain and clear about the sin of pride. But in my experience, for every one person who suffers too high an opinion of themselves, there are at least a dozen people who suffer from a low opinion of themselves. Many people, it seems to me, have either forgotten or never learned who they are. Sometime in the near future, open your Bible to the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible, chapter 1, verse 27, and there you will read, God created man in his image. In the divine image, he created them. Male and female, he created them. That was written not just for Adam and Eve, that was written for you and for me. We are men and women made in the image and likeness of God. Get in your mind a true picture of who you are. We are not born losers. We are offsprings of God himself. The second thing is to love your neighbor as yourself. Now, it's my contention that if we would break away and turn our attention from self to others, we might be surprised at the results. You know, sometimes I think that many of our so-called personal problems are nothing more than a preoccupation with self. If we really are concerned with the needs of our neighbors, it would be that many of our own needs would just be forgotten. Of course, if we decide to do that, we have to also decide who is my neighbor. Remember Jesus' story of the Good Samaritan. He helped a man who had been beaten and robbed. Who that man was, we really don't know. Jesus never said. He may have been a Jew or a Gentile. He may have been clean or dirty. He may have been white or black or brown. All of that doesn't matter. The point is that he needed help. And that is who our neighbor is. The third and most important part of the great law of love is this. You shall love the Lord your God with your whole heart, your whole soul, and your whole mind. In other words, we are commanded to make a commitment of our total self to God. I think that we have to all be honest enough that none of us have ever done that totally and completely. And yet part of the glory of the Christian faith is that we never fully live up to the ideal. Christ is always out ahead of us. He's calling us, challenging us to greater heights and endeavors. I remember a verse from the book of James that goes like this. Every worthwhile gift, every genuine benefit comes from above, descending from the Father. Now, if God cares for us that much, and he cares about you and me, then our life will not be complete until we learn to love God above all else. And through the saving grace of Jesus Christ, we have the rest of time and eternity to learn that great law of love. <clears throat> Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. 
I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven, heaven and earth, of all, all things, things visible and invisible. And invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, that we may always reach out to those in need with material and spiritual aid and extend God's grace to every corner of the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For refugees, widows, and orphans, and all who suffer with loss and uncertainty, that they may be treated with love and compassion so that they may find peace and serenity in their difficult circumstances, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those around the world who are persecuted for their faith, that, they, that the early church in communities like Thessalonica may give them hope and inspiration, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer on this Priesthood Sunday for all ordained priests, that our prayers and support may give them sustenance as they grow in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all of us here today, that we may meet the challenge of accepting all people as neighbors, especially those who look, speak, or act differently than we do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, we ask that you fill our hearts with love and our minds with understanding that we may recognize your son in one another who is our neighbor and one day be welcomed to the fullness of your love in heaven. We make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, 
to live like us in all things but sin, that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but Lord, only say the word and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, amen. amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May God bless you with every heavenly blessing make you always holy and pure in his sight, pour out in abundance upon you the riches of his glory, and teach you with the words of truth. May he instruct you in the gospel of salvation and ever endow you with fraternal charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being part of our celebration of the Eucharist. We share a bond with our fellow Catholics as God is calling us to be one and share our gifts with each other. Won't you now help us build up and strengthen our church across the United States? Please call or visit us on the web and join us next week. May God bless you and all whom you love. <laughs>